another memory from your childhood comes through. It's Taco, your pet dog. Say woof, Taco. That a boy. Taco wants to play. Taco sends you to the hospital for stitches. This is a weird game. It's a shame we can't just walk. Yeah, I mean, we don't have any money. Yeah, now we're really stuck. Maybe and we, we just... don't know the address. <laughs> and we don't know the address. Fairly key points. Um, I don't suppose that map said anything on it. Um, hang on, don't bring... Writing is... Hang on, this is different now. This is. On the back of the map it reads, Alice, well, yeah, we did the... don't bring any... The writing is addressed to you, but you know that you've never seen this map before. Something is very fishy about it. One thing you recognise, the route on the map leads to Joe's bar. Now you can remember the address of the bar. 1060 South Peoria. I actually remember Peoria coming up. On a sign somewhere, I think. Yeah. Street. Okay. So now we have it, but we've got no money, so... Well, we can ask him. He'll drive us there and we can pull a gun on him. That sounds good. And we hit him. <laughs> pull a gun on him. We don't pull guns on people. We just literally shoot them. Game's very trigger happy. You really got to shoot this taxi child. No. Can we just leave? Let's try. He's going to call the police, so let's get out of here. Okay. Um. We're safe now. They can't get in here. Okay, what was it? 33, 24, 36. Look at that. What is that? I don't know. It's a small unmarked cardboard box, Mark. Taking it. It's a manila folder labelled Ace's Bad Checks. Uh, another memory wave from your next childhood comes through. It's Susie Q, the girl next door. Susie Q gave you your first kiss. In fact, she gave all the boys in the neighbourhood their first kiss. Susie Q grew up to be very popular. All sorts of backstory. How many are there? Just the one. It's a bundle of cheques that have been stamped insufficient funds. The cheques are all made out to Joe's Bar and signed by Ace Harding. Ace Harding. The total value of the cheques exceeds $1,000. Right, well, I guess we'll take this. Yeah, evidence, right? I don't know. Yeah. It must be important. And this yeah. thing. Aha. Uh -huh. It's an unmarked key. I hope this opens the, uh... The boot? The boot, because we... Running our keys? Yeah. Might be worth saving. Um... Why uh, hang on, go back oh. oh never mind. We're here now, so we might as well. I was gonna say look at the boxing picture. Now we know our memory is back. Yeah, I mean that does seem to be doing it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's quite cool that there are different um <laughs> <sighs> the key fits. You turn the key opening the trunk. Inside the trunk, you can't help but notice a very large object taking up a lot of space. This poor woman. Not just kidnapped, but constantly fat-shamed. Can you talk to her? 
she's gagged. Yeah, but... Ah, cool, nice one. Oh. Hello? Can't seem to take her bonds. You can't take the stuff around her ankles. No, she's got one object. Okay. I think you've seen plenty already. Um. Is she dead? I don't know. I hope not. Why would you keep her in the boot? He likes her, doesn't he? I don't know. I mean, no, no, this isn't her. I don't think this is the same person. <laughs> you don't think? This is the person he wanted to kidnap because she's rich. Oh, okay. I'm getting my wires crossed with these people. Yeah. What if you give her a... They're not her earrings, then? Are they her earrings? Why would her earrings be in the bar and in some lady's derelict house? I don't know what we'd say to her. No, I mean... I'm very confused. Is there a map? Or what about the information about kidnapping her? We left that in the car, I think. Oh. Um, did we get the name? Doesn't feel like the right thing to do. Uh, the woman cannot be opened, Mark. Um, just in time, another memory wave from your childhood comes through. It's Father O'Malley from the DeMille Boarding School for Young Followers of All Ten Commandments. And then some. Father O'Malley is about to teach you a lesson. You are about to learn it. You will never, ever forget it. At the DeMille School, you learned to talk with your fists. Okay. I don't know what to do with this lady. Are we going to, like, cut the rope? You don't... But I don't see how we'd be able to do that without selecting her, and that seems dodgy. Yeah, we haven't been introduced to a knife. Or a pair of scissors. Hmm. What do those things... What are those letters? Are those just the original letters we had right at the beginning? Yeah, so that's the original one, and that's the one that gives us the address to... Somewhere else. Um, car registration. Uh, unless she's asleep and we need to wake her up with some drugs. Oh, that's a long journey. Yeah, we, I think we've lost the fate trust of that. Oh, yeah, I guess... Should we show her a picture of her own face? Uh, you recognise the woman in the photo. It's Mrs. Sternwood, and you remember what she was all about. It was a job you were hired for. A couple of days ago, Mr. John Sternwood tracked you down. He said his wife was kidnapped, and the ransom note demanded that you, Ace Hardin, be the bagman for the ransom. But you're having trouble remembering any further. So we were set up. Yeah, I guess so. You don't think you show the picture? We've got to do something with that lady. I think we have to show her something or wake her up. I don't know. I don't know how we'd wake her up. Give her that drug. Yeah, she having called her acarets. Should we, should we? Yeah, metrazine. That killed us, didn't it? Yes. Will it kill her? Let's find out. <laughs> okay.
Probably. Yeah, probably. I don't think there's been much we've been doing in this game that hasn't been illegal. So far. Oh. The medrazine appears to be having a rather adverse effect on the woman. It's nice to administer this nerve gas antidote when someone is exposed to nerve gas, but when they're not, it proves to be somewhat uncomfortable. In fact, it proves to be deadly. Living and learning at the expense of another's life may also prove to be deadly. Okay, so we're in trouble. Okay. Alright, not that one. So it might be that we do need to use some other drug. Oh, that's a lot. Well, I don't Death think do. it's doable now. Yeah. So we could try other things. Do, what if you try dropping other objects on her to look at? Like, give her the map? Oh, sorry. Like, I wish she would tell you if she was unconscious. Yeah, because that's why I did that. Like, yeah. examine, but just can't. Hit? Don't hit her, Probably no. shouldn't. Probably shouldn't. All right. What about if you give her the handkerchief that has JS on it? But is she awake? Well, I don't think so, but I don't think there's anything we can do. I think I'm grasping at straws here. Yeah, I don't know. Try giving her the earrings, I guess. Or operating the earrings. No. What about in the folder? Is that, that's just our debts, isn't it? Yeah, that's just our debts. Why don't we keep all the other information? Well, I mean, it's still just information. I still, I think it's like... Well, what if we say to her name? What was it? This is Sternway. Was it Sternway? Is it not? Yeah, try it. What's up? Oh, I'm saying it to myself. Oh, That's right. Help. But how do I cancel? It's not. Press enter. That's really annoying. Well, it's not letting you cancel out. No, I'm going to load. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, that's re weird. I guess we'll have to quit out. Do you need to start recording again, or is that fine? That's fine. It's all right. I can, as long as we haven't stopped, I can. Yeah. I can cut in. Or just leave it. Right. The woman didn't hear you. She probably wasn't listening. It sounds like the police are getting close. Yes, yeah, so we need to leave. I think we need to go in the building. Okay. I don't know if we're stuck. It's hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah, because there's certainly things that we could try if we could move around, but we can't move around. Unless that other cabbie doesn't mind taking us to a place, and then we're stuck there, I think. Oh, you could try hitting that woman. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Where is she, then? <laughs> okay, you can't go that way. 
I splat. It seems you have just fallen into a deep construction pit. You should watch where you're going next time. I don't see why being going into the police station would be a good idea. Um, hmm. So is that woman random? I guess so. I wanted to try hitting her. Weird thing to say, but it was probably illegal, wasn't it? That's yeah. That's the uh, that's the actual save. Uh, um. Good. This is going well. <laughs> There's, those menus don't work properly. I don't know why I did that. It's gonna reset. Yeah. All right. Let's leave it. You're, oh yeah, I didn't see that. You're standing in front of a police station. The warmth of its exterior proves to be inviting, at least for those with a good bump on the head. Hmm. So okay, so we could go I in there, it's a, but I don't think it's a good idea. No, I mean we're carrying a gun. We've been shooting people. Well, we shot one person. Oh, that's true. We shot a person at the door. Yeah. Um. Oh, hello. Okay. She's this lady then. Yeah, hit her. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Socko. She's out like a red light and her purse drops to the ground. You're standing over a hooker who has just been right hooked. I wouldn't stand around too much longer if I were you. Hey. Money. It's a makeup kit. Don't get any funny ideas. So oh God, no. <laughs> okay. So should we leave her be? It looks like okay. you hit her pretty hard. She's out cold. Right. Good emergency. Yeah. So we are fast with our hands. Yeah. But we've still only got one journey in us if we use that money. Two journeys. One we can we can run away from the second cab. Do you want to try it then? Where would we be going? The doctors? I guess so, to see if we need to load up on drugs and try and see if we can wake her up. You remember another detail from the Sternwood kidnapping case. When Mr. Sternwood showed you the ransom note, you wondered why you were mentioned specifically in the note to be hired as the bag man. The note said that you would be receiving further instructions in private. So though that so that these were to be kept from Mr. Sternwood, but you can't remember how you received those or what they were. Right. Okay. Which address was it? Nine. Uh, nine three four West Sherman. These cabbies should be giving us unlimited trips, given that we gave them twenty quid a pop and it's seventy five cents a journey. Hmm. So not salt, I don't think, but um, could it hurt to have it just in case? I think it's worth just grabbing one of everything. Yeah.
we already have all of those. <laughs> That's that one. You remember another detail from the Sternwood kidnapping case. After talking to Mr. Sternwood, you took a chance and went to your office to see if you had anything in your files. Instead, you found a letter from Joey Siegel, the man you were hiding from, the man you had racked up a serious gambling debt to, and who had subsequently put a contract out on your head. You remember the surprise, but you can't remember what the letter said. So we've sort of done a lot of that, right? Uncovered mm. those bits of information. Mm, I think so. Okay, is that everything? Um, no, I don't think so. Did we get sodium pentothal? Yeah, I think we did. There's one more. There we go. Uh, we don't need this sample, do we? Todd Zipman's sample. Oh, yeah, there's that as well. So I suppose the little... That's a combination it's lock. A combination. Ugh, we haven't had any more information about that, though, have we? No, not at all. Unless we can shoot it open. <laughs> hey! You just did major damage to the file cabinet. That is a lot of information. <laughs>